Hello YouTube, welcome to another iPhoneNerd.com tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is, um, I can't emphasize how important it is to do this. It is extremely important that you get this done as soon as possible, especially for the owners of the iPhone 4. Um, what we're going to be explaining today in this tutorial is basically <clears throat> how to back up your, your SHSH blobs using tiny umbrella uh, you really need this to you really really need this because <clears throat> in the future when 4.1 comes out which should be very very shortly so I would be up on this immediately if you're one of my subscribers and you um, watch my videos and watch my tutorials this this is for everyone everyone has to do this uh, also if you're if you if you saw my previous tutorial on how to jailbreak and unlock the iPhone 4, make sure that you click on City and make my life easier, so that it backups your SHSH blobs. But what happens is sometimes Cydia's servers are so overloaded that it doesn't have time to get those SHSH blobs on time before uh, Apple blocks that hole, uh, closes that hole, patches that hole, and, and brings out the new firmware. An SHSH blob is basically something that uh that iTunes needs Apple when you connect your phone up to iTunes it talks to Apple and Apple decides whether or not to send to authorize you upgrading or downgrading a certain firmware so let's say in the future you mistakenly upgrade or something like that and you want to come back down to 4.01 or 4.0 you won't be able to do that if you don't have these blobs saved on your computer or saved on the city of server so regardless if you understand what this is or not I will still do it because it's extremely vital and you need this for anything if you want to use jailbreakme.com forever and you want to jailbreak your phone forever using 4.0 you need to do this this I cannot emphasize how important it is to do this so our first step would be basically to download tiny umbrella and we can do that by going into opening up our browser. We go into iphoneer.com. Uh, just click on downloads. Once you get there, uh, let me scroll down. Jailbreaking tools, and it should be here all the way at the bottom here. Tiny umbrella right here. Click on that, and just click download, which is right there once you click on download you download it drag it to the desktop or to any other folder that you want and we're gonna open it up even if you don't want to jailbreak your iPhone 4 just yet um, you don't need to have a jailbroken iPhone for this but I suggest you do it if in the future you wish to jailbreak you can always downgrade to 4.0 anything it just works good because Apple does not let you downgrade they only let you stay at the current firmware that they have with this you'll be able to downgrade to previous versions of different firmwares so I suggest this extremely suggest this you really need to do this I don't even know how much I can emphasize it. so basically after you've opened the program we're gonna go ahead just plug up our iPhone to the computer And Tiny Umbrella should automatically detect the iPhone. This is my iPhone 4. I already have these the, these files already saved on my computer. I already have them saved with Cydia. And, um, but I'm going to do it anyway once again. After you plug it in, all you do is click Save My SHSH. And it'll go through the process of doing that. Sometimes, however, the... Uh, I'm going to see if it goes through here now. Yes, mine went through. So it says it's successfully saved through Cydia, and it was also successfully saved locally. Oh, sorry, I'm starting to get a phone call. All right, also successfully saved lo uh, local. Um, if in the event that you're trying to do it and it just fails, it just does not want to do it, you want to go into advanced options, and you want to change request from Cydia to request to Apple. Right? Now, this is not going to save it with Cydia, but you'll still have it locally. Um, just do that and get it from Apple. Yeah. Now, let's say you already, let's say you, uh, you've done this, you want to downgrade, 
All you have to do is run tiny, tiny umbrella again, tiny umbrella again, and you want to hit start TSS server. Now iTunes will request it from your computer instead of requesting it from Apple, and it'll allow you to do that. Just really, really make sure that you have these files because in the future, if there is a problem with this, I will make a tutorial on how to exactly start the server, which is just clicking a bu button and opening up iTunes. But you really need to do this. Once you're done, you can even just uh, hit display SHSH and just make sure that it's on there. I got my 3GS on there and I got my iPhone 4 on there. Just make sure that you have it. And uh, don't worry if Cydia says that uh, that you don't, that that's that's pending. It doesn't matter if it says that. If this gives you the confirmation that it's in Cydia, it's in Cydia. Cydia will just take a little while to display it on the actual phone when you open it. But please, make sure that you do this. It's very important. Uh... It's just so that in the future you can continue to jailbreak and be able to use jailbreakme.com hopefully not forever but for as long as you want so you're never stuck saying shit I have to wait for another uh, for another jailbreak to come out for a specific uh, firmware you can always downgrade back down. Thank you for watching this tutorial. It was very brief. Uh, please remember to comment, rate, subscribe. I'm trying to make partner. I'm trying to uh, bring up the website once again. Uh, thank you for watching my videos and you guys have a great day.